dribbles it out, and for Shelby fans, there's a new byline in your history books. The greatest team in program history continues to march. We're headed to Dayton next week. 55-46, the Whippets do what many thought was impossible. They knock off the number one team in the state by nine. You know, it, we aren't, uh, you know, we have goals as a team, but it wasn't something like that we put in our locker room that we looked at every day for, before practice and stuff. Our guys just had a good idea on, on what that was. Um, sometimes when you think about results so much, you lose the process. And we wanted to say with the process, that's, you know, take days at a time, take games at a time, not look ahead. Um, so I, I think, you know, when results do happen, it's when you, you stay level-headed and, and you just worry about yourself day in, day out. Seniors, um, I think every every year that I've ever coached, there's always a point in the season where you know you, you have to see that you can go like this or it can go like this. Was there ever a point in the season, like a turning point, that you said that this for this basketball team that you felt like you were going to face you face some adversity and and then you got in the right direction. I mean, you won like 19 games in a row here since, haven't lost since the beginning of the year, but was there a point in the season where, you know, you, maybe you guys were wavering at all? I'll say there was, um, this is just what I feel like, two points in the season. One was after we beat Finley. That was kind of the, well, I'll start with the, the bottom first. When we lost to Lex as our second loss of the year, um, that's when we, that's when we were kind of like, man, we're really not that good. Like, we're up in all these polls and all this, but I mean, we just lost the legs. Like, we're we're struggling right now. Like, we need to find ourselves because we're not playing up to our potential. Um, and then I think we kind of just stopped taking shortcuts. We we started doing things the right way, and um, that just came like like we just did the right things day after day. And um, like he said, like we started valuing the process a lot more. And then I think um, when we got wins like Finley, we kind of just realized like we're on the right track and we're taking the right steps to unlock our potential. As I look around at the poor seniors here, you guys all, just your demeanor, you're pretty laid back kids. When you're on the court, you're great competitors, of course. But since you two are up here right now, if you'll just speak on your leadership qualities and what you feel like you bring to the table to bring that and the confidence to the team collectively as a whole. Yeah, I mean, my my role stepped up huge. I mean, I'm last year I was a kid where I was afraid to, you know, take a shot. And, you know, for the team, it was best if I did take shots. And my teammates and, you know, everyone really helped me, you know, get my confidence back. And, I mean, you know, I'd miss a shot. I remember the Lexington game, I shot four threes, I think. And two of the threes, Alex and Casey both got rebounds on, and, you know. They scored off, scored off of it, and it ended up helping us. So, I think that's where, like, in leadership wise or like confidence wise, I stepped up. Well, I'll say, <clears throat> I'll say my role as a leader is more not like telling people what to do or like stop shooting or shoot more. I just try to be like the calm guy, like um, just to calm everyone down or um, get everybody like just in the right mindset. If if we're playing too tight, like I just be like. It's just a game, like, chill out, like, let's just play. So I'd say that's, that's kind of how I'm, I do my leadership. How much confidence, you know, you, you know you can take over a game, but how much confidence do you have knowing that sometimes you don't have to because you have so many great players around you with Isaiah, with Casey, everybody else that comes into this game, knowing that sometimes you don't have to take it over yourself? Yeah, and I really haven't had to take over um, games this year. So I know what they can do. Obviously, I've been playing with them for a while. So, um, I mean, I know they're comfortable in those tight situations. And, um, I know I can trust them to go get a bucket or get a stop. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's it's, uh, it's really easy to play. and be com It's easy for me to be comfortable in those situations, knowing that I have these guys by my side. How much confidence going into this week does that give you after the performance you put up against Lutheran? Uh, it gives us a lot of confidence, but there's a line between confidence and arrogance, and we can't cross that line to go and, you know, have arrogance going in state because everyone's really good in state, but, you know, we have a lot of confidence and where, you know, we feel really good about our odds, but, you know, the big thing is we're taking one day at a time and, 
You know, we're not looking at Sunday, we're looking at Saturday. Coach, we've been talking to the boys about this all year about the Red Range and how they've just, you know, they've been able to pump you guys up. How great has it, especially for this year? I mean, they, they've been amazing student section for years now, but how great has it been to have them behind you guys this whole year? They've been up giving us their sheets, they do their homework, they do their pregame stuff, but to have them on your side, it's gonna be a cool feeling. It is, yeah. Um, it's, it's a true, it's a true six man for us out there. You know, they, they just bring, uh, we, we talked about it Saturday at the game, like let's make plays to get our crowd involved. And um, we did that. And they, they've been doing that all, all year, no matter if we go to Finlay to play, or sorry, go to OG to play Finlay. I mean, so it's it just been, it's been incredible. They've done a, a great job. Um, our guys are really appreciative of them. You know, after the game, it's the first thing that they do is, you know, as soon as we're done shaking hands, they're going in the, the Red Rage and uh, are getting, you know, in, in the, those huddles and cheering with them. So we're, we're just really appreciative of them and uh, they don't maybe realize how much of an impact that they have for us uh, through this tournament run. Coach, I know it's going to be all business this week because you guys have the main goal of winning semifinal and the state championship. But when you get down there, is there going to be a time to let the boys just enjoy being there because mm -hmm. There's not a lot of players in the state of Ohio that have a chance to be able to do this throughout their four years of their careers compared to you guys now having a chance. Absolutely. You know, um, one thing over the weekend that, you know, from having coaches just connect um, through texts or calls or emails uh, that has been consistent from around our area or retired coaches is like to enjoy it. You know, some coaches that have been there and saying if there's one thing that I regret, it was we didn't really take in time to just enjoy our experience down in Columbus, whether it was there or Dayton. So that's something that we've already talked about today. You know, this is going to be a week that we're really going to soak it in. You know, we're going to enjoy it. Um, but one thing that we talked about too was uh, we don't want to be a team that just feels to be at our high getting to Dayton um, because I know that's you know it's a huge goal to to get down there, but. Um, we're going to enjoy it, but we also have business that we want to take care of.